how can we easily create a random data set that is weighted? That means it is based on a certain factor. In this case, it is the state population. So let's look at our data. We have the states in column A. We have their population, which is a little bit outdated, but here it is nevertheless in column B. And we want to create a bunch of rows in the, the states that have a higher population, like California, Florida, Illinois, New York. We want uh, those states to have more rows that are generated. So let's do this in a very easy way without any programming, nothing like that. Here is our step one. We simply put a zero here, and this formula is just going to add up the value above and the value to the left. So we get an expanding or a growing sum all the way down at the very bottom. This is the this number is equal to the sum of the entire population, and we have it up here at the top. That is our step one just to get that growing range. Step two is this. We want to create a random number between one and that max value, the sum of all the population of all of the states. So we do this all the way down. In this case, I've gone down to row 6,005 so that we have a total of 6,000 random numbers. Uh, step number three is this. We simply want to use an approximate match, not an exact match, but we put true, or we don't even have to put the word true. It would default to approximate match. Uh, we could also do this with a VLOOKUP. But anyways, we look for the random number back into this growing range. And it's going to give us a position number of where it's found. So it's a very simple way to do this. Uh, obviously, you'd have to expand this. It ends here at uh, C55. That's because we only have uh, 50 states. So from row 6 to row 55. Uh, next thing is this. Our step 4, we simply use the index function to say, look back into that column where we have our states listed and give me the 40th one. So these are random, and we just go all the way down, and now we have the 6,000 rows of these states listed out. So uh, that could be the end of the whole video. You could stop it right here. You could go back in here and put your own data in here. If you have less, uh, that's fine. If you have more, you'd have to expand some of these ranges a little bit. But the question now is, how close, uh, how many of these states here how close is it to our distribution based on the population all the way back here in our original data? Does Florida really have a lot more rows than Delaware? Uh, does California have about 10% of the total population, that number of rows? So let's go over here and take a look at that. Here I've created a pivot table, and this pivot table is going to, it counts the number of rows that we've created over here. It counts them, and we also see the percent of the total. So here we see these percents, and then this is just the rank because it's sorted by the highest population. Now, this is what we've created randomly. How does that compare to what we had over here in our original data? Right. So each of these states, the population divided by that total of the entire population. So now I'm just going to show this part. So California, for example, had this population a little over 39 million, and out of the total, it's 12.29%. And then Texas is the next one where this, as a percent of the total, is 8.72. So we can compare this, the original data, with what we randomly generated. We can also compare the rank. So in this case, it's sequential going down, sort of by the highest. And here, it's almost the same, but a couple of them will be flipped around a little bit because there's a certain, a little bit of randomness. And finally, over here, um, I just have the percent difference comparing the two uh, for the random percent of total, original percent of total. We can see that it's pretty close. And then I've used Corel, the Corel function, to say, how close is the rank? A 1 would be perfect correlation. They are exactly identical. So they're not quite the same, but they're pretty close. There's only, like here, it's a little bit out of order, and there's a couple of spots where it's just slightly out of order. And then this one does the corral function on the percent of total, and it's also very high, almost 1, very, very close.